In the last video, we looked at creating an initial configuration for your practice. We defined our staff members, we selected the message icons that we wanted displayed, and defined the rooms or, or paging areas in your building. In this video, we're going to take it a step further. We'll look at uh, adding and removing some staff members and rooms. We'll change some colors and sounds. We'll relabel some buttons. We'll move the position of some buttons. Uh, we'll select some different message icons. And then finally, we'll take a look at how we can push those changes out uh, to all of our Venga stations. Now, before we can make any meaningful changes to Venga, we have to first be in configuration mode. The default password for configuration mode is Venga5. Okay, so the first thing we'll take a look at is changing a staff member's color. We'll do that by right-clicking on the staff button, choosing properties, and then color. We can choose any of the colors available to us here, or if we want, we can define a custom color. We can use this slider to lighten up the color or darken it. Or we can choose from any color in the spectrum here. We'll go ahead and choose a light yellow. It's important to note that when we change that color, that's a global change, and that is pushed out to all live workstations immediately. Okay, so now let's take a look at changing a label on a staff button. We right click on the staff button, select properties and label, and just type over the top of the existing label. Maybe Dr. N should read Dr. Nancy. And when we make that change, it's made globally, pushed out to all active workstations. Similarly, we're gonna change the sound for Dr. Nancy. We do the same thing through a right click and properties. So there's her existing sound. And let's choose uh, the Miyagi sound. Maybe we didn't like that one, we'll try piano. And we'll save that. And just like a color or label, a sound change made to a staff member is global and updates on all live stations right away. Now let's take a look at changing some of the message icons we have displayed on our console. We'll do that through the configuration menu. And in the left-hand column, we can select or deselect the items that we want. We'll deselect the question for you icon. And let's, uh, let's select the prescription icon. And we'll save it. Okay, so we've made some changes to the buttons and message icons, but now let's take a look at changing the layout of the console. We can do that through the configuration menu and the My Console and Behavior settings. Now these are settings only for your console. If you want to share those with others, you'll have to choose to push my settings and that will push it out to the other stations. So going into the uh, console and behavior settings, we can do things like change the number of columns. Uh, we can grab the corner of the button and size how large the button display will be. Uh, we can click the apply button to see what that'll look like. Let's choose a horizontal layout and see what that looks like. And we'll go back to uh, vertical. Sizing the Venga console is easy. You just click on the gripper control and size in any dimension that you want to. Alternatively, you can use the control key on the keyboard and the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom up and down. Let's take a look at hiding buttons now. Let's say that maybe OP5 is under construction and we don't need it on our screen. We'll just right click on OP5 and choose hide button and it's gone. Now that is hidden only from our console. So with that in mind and having made a few changes to our console, let's take a look at pushing our configuration to other workstations. We're going to do that. We're going to select the we're going to select the default option. This makes it the default configuration for any new stations signing in, and it also updates all existing stations that are online. And that's it. We've pushed our configuration, and now all workstations have our same look and feel. Our console is in pretty good shape now, but let's say we want to change the button position of a few buttons. We can do that by holding down the shift key and dragging to the top of the position we want it to take. The rest of the buttons just shift to the right. So likewise on the room buttons, let's take the console button 
and drop that on top of op1 and you'll see op1 shifts a position to the right as do all the rest of the buttons. We've done about everything we can do to our console now with the exception of adding buttons. So let's consider that maybe we've added an employee and we've built on a new operatory. To add a button, we'll go into the configuration menu and select system setup. We're going to modify the system and let's add a new uh, user sign on or staff member. And let's say Mike is joining the team. And then we'll go on to rooms and let's add another operatory for Mike to work in and that will be op six. You know what, we're gonna change one of the settings. Um, op one doesn't follow our naming convention so we'll uh, correct that too. And any message icon selections we can make here and we'll finish and click done. Now all of your workstations will automatically get that new updated configuration and there it is. We can see Mike and Op6. Thanks for watching.